Batman and Superman in the same film on the screen. Hello everybody, I'm Robert Storms. Man of Steel 2 was confirmed and this time Zack Snyder says that Batman is going to be in the movie with him. Okay, so like I did in my little comedy video, I wasn't too happy with this. I was like, really? They're going this route? Uh, the, as soon as I heard this, I was like, this is a poor attempt by Warner Brothers to try to compete with Avengers because their Justice League movie is just fucking crumbling because they can't get the fucking pieces around them to develop the Justice League movie and it keeps getting pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. So they're like, you know what, let's take Superman instead of rebooting Batman again with an origin story, we're going to put Batman in the next Superman film and then there's going to be so much um, hype over this film that it's going to um, make Avenger type money. You know, since since Man of Steel didn't make Avengers type money because Avenger or uh, Man of Steel it just wasn't it just, Man of Steel did not make the money nowhere near what Avengers did. And Warner Brothers like, oh shit, we gotta do something now, so let's hurry up and just throw Batman in the fucking Man of Steel movie. And this is not a good idea, not at all. Okay, first you haven't even really told. Superman right, okay? Man of Steel wasn't even told right. We got a bunch of flashbacks, we saw Krypton, and then we had about an hour and a half of just fucking two dudes going like this through buildings and shit, you know? And it wasn't Superman. We didn't see Clark and Daily Planet. It wasn't Superman-ish. Um, so now you're gonna introduce Batman, and then you gotta come up with all that extra stuff, which Batman is basically gonna take over the Man of Steel movie, so it's not even gonna feel like Man of Steel 2. It's just, they're, they're, they're adding too much stuff to this thing. You know, if you wanted to do this, wait to the third Superman film, or have Man of Steel 2, and then do a Batman Superman movie. Don't introduce Batman into Man of Steel 2 when you need to take this opportunity for Clark to come to terms of what he did in Metropolis in the first movie because he killed thousands of people including Zod at the end and there, there's no repercussion from that we don't know how that affects Clark we see him just show up at the Daily Planet like 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 you know he motherfucker was showing up at the Daily Planet he's like I'm Clark Kent it's like you know and it didn't even look sad or anything about all these people that, that died in this giant war, which could have been totally negated. This whole war was irrelevant with him and Zod. This whole thing could have been overlooked if he just used his fucking head like Superman does in the comics, like he does in the Christopher Reeves film, like he does in other media that involves Superman. The Man of Steel movie was just, yeah, but I'm not going into this with a Man of Steel review again, okay? The thing is, the second movie is your opportunity to set things right, and by you saying, hey, we're gonna introduce Batman, which everybody with a fucking ounce of common sense knows that this is all about money. Okay, they are not throwing Batman in there because they have to tell the story of a Batman on there. They're throwing Batman in there because they want fucking money and they're tired of Marvel whooping their ass every time they come up with a new movie. Like Green Lantern, fucking bomb. Fucking, um, Man of Steel didn't make nowhere near as much as fucking Avengers did. And, and basically that movie tried to be like Avengers. There's like this fucking huge fight scene which an Avengers made sense. You're fighting thousands of fucking aliens, you know, in the city. And you still saw Captain America trying to get people free. Superman just fighting like a uh, half a dozen Kryptonians. And he, not one time did he try to save anybody. He's like, hey, get in that house. It's not safe out here. And then like five seconds later he throws something through that fucking building and kills him. Like, you fucking moron. So, I mean, and then it comes to, are you going to have them team up? Are you going to have them fight? No doubt it's going to be like Avengers. They're going to start. They're going to meet each other. They're going to fight. And then they'll be like, hey, we need to get our shit together because there's a bigger evil happening here. What is that other evil going to be? Now, I feel that if they're going to do this film, 
there is a way to kind of do it right. There is a Batman Superman comic, which I believe in the first trade paperback introduced Supergirl. And they did hint to Supergirl in the first Man of Steel movie. Batman can find Supergirl. Supergirl doesn't control her power. Batman thinks she's evil, blah, blah, blah. Superman steps in. They have a little, you know, little thing. And then that's that. And then basically Darkseid kind of brings out the evil within Supergirl. And we go from there. And that, that would be a good setup for the film. I think that would work. But then you're introducing another character. And does Zack Snyder, David Goyer really want to do that? I don't know. To me, Zack Snyder is in a tough situation. I don't think Batman was his idea. I think this came down from the studio that, hey, you guys need to pull something because we need to make the money back. I, I, I think by them being so concerned about the profit and the money trying to compete with Marvel that they're, they are losing themselves, and that's not a good thing. So here, here's, you, you hear my opinion, I told you my opinion, now I want to know your opinion. Be sure to leave comments in the box below, tell me what you think about the Batman Superman movie. I already seen a lot of your comments on Twitter and Facebook, everybody's like, yeah, so excited, so excited. Um, but for those of you who are actually concerned, you know, tell me what your concerns about. Do you agree with me? Do you don't agree with me? Um, let me know. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to share this video on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other social media sites they have on the internet today. And until next time, guys, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.